Hi, welcome to the program. I'm so excited to have you. You're watching the Marketplace Network, Prophetic Spotlight. You know how we do it. We look for the, the pastors, the apostles, the prophets that are really sowing seed. Somebody that's really gathering fruit out of the people with their teaching. People that are really acknowledging that Jesus lives and He heals and helps and restores and provides today. Who am I talking about? The Apostle herself, Apostle Gemma, is with us live. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Of course. We always like to have you. Now, she speaks all over the world. She speaks everywhere. She's very busy. We're blessed to have her on set. So we're just going to turn her loose because we want to know what God is saying to her. What is the Lord saying to you? He's saying, let's open up in prayer because He wants to touch your heart. He okay. wants to minister to your need. Good. He knows what you need before you even ask. So, mm. Father God, I pray for those listening. Oh, hallelujah. You're the healer. You're the deliverer. You're the Savior of the world. I thank you, Father God. Touch those who are in pain right now. Father God, just lift that's that right. yoke off of them in Jesus' name. I rebuke every attack, every assignment mm -hmm. of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Teach he it. who the sun sets free shall be free indeed. Thank you, Father God, that you are setting us free from that darkness. And I see the light of the Lord just coming in. He is faithful. He's going to do exceedingly abundantly greater than you could ask for, think of, or imagine according yes. to the power that works in you. And the power of God is being stirred up in you and it's going to push out the darkness, push out the evil, push out the witchcraft, even that anxiety. The mm. enemy has tried to torment you, but that tormenting spirit is broken in the name of Jesus. And God is showing me in these last days, He is pouring out His Spirit in such a great measure. And I want to praise God God, for a testimony, the last time okay. I was here, <laughs> yes. our beloved bishop said when I prayed, he felt the Spirit of the Lord come into him. Oh, and he wow. was lifted up. And that's what God is doing. He is just flowing. There's just a flow yes, of the good. Spirit of the Lord. Praise God. But one thing I wanted to talk about today is that we need to serve God and not man. And when our country was founded, there was a constitution, there was the Bill of Rights, there was democracy democracy, there was freedoms. And now people who are in authority don't know God. They're walking in darkness. Yes, they're serving the good. evil and they're trying to they're trying to take away our uh -huh. religious freedoms, uh -huh. our, our medical freedoms, right? Uh -huh. So um, in Daniel chapter three, we verse one, audience, um, we we see Daniel. And, well, this isn't Daniel. This is his three friends. Daniel comes next in the lion's den. But we have Nebuchadnezzar the king made an image of gold whose height was three score cubits and a cubit is 18 inches and the breadth there of six cubits. He set it up in the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. So basically the king wanted everyone to bow down wow. to this image. And okay. basically you're bowing down to the devil. And our government wants us to do things that are not of God. And we have to stand up no matter what the price, no matter what the cost. And um, we know that the king said, if you don't bow down to my image, I'm going to throw you in the fiery furnace. Oh, wow. And Daniel 3, chapter 2, then Nebuchadnezzar the king sent to gather together the princes, the governors, and the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the provinces to come to the dedication of the image which Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. These are all the important people. Wow. These are the people in power. Was Alberta on them? <laughs> It said right there, Alberta Amen. came also. Okay. Right, right. Amen. Praise God. Amen. All Hallelujah. the important people. But these were all the people appointed by the king. Yes. And if they didn't follow the king, they were going to be thrown in the fiery furnace. Oh, my goodness. They were going to lose their job. They were going to lose their position. Yes. But we know that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, mm. they were going to serve God. Mm. They were going to follow God. They were of the captivity. They were from Judah. And they believed. They 
they were young kids, right? Yeah, I mean, but they were they were oh, they were friends with Daniel, and they were governors over the land. Yes. And Daniel was the foremost, the yes. best, because an excellent spirit was found in him. Amen. But they served the one true God. So you have to really know if people are not serving God, yeah. but you can't let them control you. You have to stand up. And that's where actually in this day and age, lawyers come in really well to stand up for the Constitution, yes. to stand up uh -huh. for your rights, that people can't make rules and try to force you to do something. And they go, oh, well, we're going to do it, but oh, we'll apologize apologize later. You know, ask Ooh, for forgiveness did you later. Hear that? That's good. Teach it. Yeah. Teach oh, it. praise God. No, Hallelujah. I was just marveling how good. Wow. <laughs> Wow, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wow. Hallelujah. So then in Daniel 3, 3, they stood before the image and a herald cried aloud to you it is commanded, O people, nations and languages. Then Daniel 3, 5, that at the time you hear the sound of, you know, all those instruments and all kinds of music, you fall down and worship the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king has set up. Wow. We cannot fall down and worship anything but the Lord. Teach and it. the power of God mm, and His fire. presence and mm. His anointing. And we see that the people who did the king's bidding, the very big and large and important soldiers who threw them into the fire, the fire consumed them. Oh my it, goodness. You think you're safe because you're serving the devil, you're doing what the devil tells you to do. Oh, that's yeah, good. for right now. That's good. But down the line, you're going to suffer. Down the line, there's going to be judgment. That's good. Down the line, you're going to be held accountable for turning That's against really the Lord and serving the devil. That's good. Hallelujah. So then again, the king is just very serious. And whoever does not fall down and worship, that same hour shall be cast into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. We cannot love our lives. We have those who seek to save their life are going to lose it. Those who are like, we're going to do what the king said. Oh, we're going to do what our president said, even though he doesn't know God and he has his own demonic agenda going on right now. We have to stand up for righteousness and truth. So, Daniel 3, 7, there Therefore, at that time, again, when you hear the music, everyone, all nations, all languages fell down and worshiped the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. We're not going to follow the crowd. We're not going to go with the group. We are that remnant that God mm. has set apart. That's good. And at that time, certain <laughs> Chaldeans, who were Babylonians, came near and accused the Jews. They're not doing what you told them to do, O king. Wow, they good. are not worshiping this image. You said they would be thrown in the fire. You need to make sure that they go there, right? And But what happened? Um, there were certain Jews whom mm. you have set over the affairs of the province of Babylon. They were governors too. Very important. Mm. David's friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And remember, they gave them the names of their gods. So oh, these right. were the names of Ooh, their gods, not the Hebrew. Um, these men, O king, have not regarded you. They don't serve your gods, nor worship the golden image which you have set up. Mm. They haven't done what you told them to do, mm. right? But we as Christians, we're going to stand firm in our beliefs because we know if we serve mm. God, He's going to bless us in the end. He's going to come through for us. Yeah. We are going to be honored. We are going to be glorified. And then um, when they came out of the fiery furnace, then the king said, if anyone says anything against their God, they are going to be destroyed. God was glorified wow. because they chose to stand up to the king who was telling them to do something that was unrighteous and wrong and putting something else before the Lord. So um, then Nebuchadnezzar in his rage and fury. Notice when you tell somebody no, all of a sudden he got angry. Ooh. He got upset. But that was demonic. That yeah. was the devil. Commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then they brought these men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar spoke and said to them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Do you not serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up? Again, this is our opportunity to speak. 
Absolutely. This is our opportunity to proclaim the word of the Lord and to speak the truth and to plant the seed. Now, if you are ready, you know, once you hear the music and you fall down and worship the image which I've made, then it will be well with you. But if you don't worship, you shall be cast in the same hour into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? That's what the king is saying. Wow, I'm the king. I'm so great. I can tell you what to do. Amen. We can see that in our government. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're in control. We can tell you what to do. We've got big pharma on our side. We've got all the money and it's a spirit of deception. But we are not going to serve man. Mm. We're not going to bow down to man's Amen. edicts. Daniel 3 17. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace and he will deliver us out of your hand, O king. So he's saying, if God chooses He's going to deliver us. He can work a miracle. We serve a mighty God. We serve a powerful God. We serve an awesome God. But then they said, if he doesn't deliver us, be it known to you, O king, that we will not serve your gods, nor worship the golden image which you have set up. They are not going to bow down, no matter what the cost, mm. no matter what the price. And we can look at this as far as the vaccine mandate. I actually had to retire Too early yeah. because I refused to get the vaccine yeah. since I'm only 25 Amen. and 26 is retirement age. Yes. Right? Praise yeah. God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. But but I put God first and I knew that God would take care of me. Absolutely. Yeah. And I knew that God would turn it around for good. Yeah. But there was a price. There was a cost. And you know, there's actually a rally <laughs> this Tuesday. There is. Yeah, Teacher, in downtown us. Los Angeles uh -huh. um, at the Gloria Molina Park, the Civic Center. Uh -huh. And it's going to be what you know, uh, this Tuesday, the and 12th? that's March 12th from uh -huh. 11 to 1.30. I'm going to be speaking. I'm going to be there uh -huh. with my cameras on location interviewing. So please come. We've got lawyers. We've got civic leaders. We have the lady who brought the first lawsuit against wow. Newsom because he closed down the churches. So we have a lot of pastors who kept their churches open and we have, you know, a lot, uh, I guess it went all the way to the Supreme Court and they won that Newsom could not shut down the churches. Wow. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Yeah, mm -hmm. I want to add to that. <clears throat> Can you picture this while Apostle's taking a step here? <laughs> Is, <clears throat> think about it. The three young men and the fire, they can see the fire, they can feel the fire, the heat, they raise it up seven times. Now, thought, think about this for a second. This is a lot of heat coming out of there. And your life's dangling in front of you, but they were so sure. And they said, even if he doesn't, that's what blew me away. Even if he doesn't, we still won't bow down. Exactly. And, and then, you know, when we tell people no, we know they're going to get mad. And Nebuchadnezzar was full of fury. If, if it's not God's will for your life and you need to tell that person no, it means it's not God's will for their life. Yes. So don't be Please afraid. Teach that. Don't be afraid of their anger or they're going to get mad at me. Whatever you have to put up with, you have to do what God tells you teach to that. do. Amen. 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 And the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore, he spoke and commanded that they should heat the furnace, like you said, seven times hotter than ever before. Now, the heat was hotter. The flames mm. were more severe. Can you imagine? But in the midst of that, God delivered his people. That's they amazing. went in bound and they came out loosed. They went in, hallelujah, with all their clothes on. And then one like the Son of God was in there, in the flames, with them in the fire. God is with you through that health situation, through that marriage Teacher. situation, through that financial situation, through that ministry situation, through that family situation. Mm. God is with you. And because that situation is so difficult and so
so hard. His power is there in a greater way, and he's going to bring a greater deliverance and a greater miracle. It's going to be supernatural what he does, but that's why he's wow. calling us <clears throat> to walk by faith, Teacher. to believe, and it. know that God will provide for you. Even if you lose your job, God will take care of you. And i got to say, God has taken care of me. God has provided Tell for Tell me. Tell them. God has provided for me, and I knew that God allowed it. I also do have a lawsuit, praise God, for lawyers yes. against this um, hallelujah company, praise God. And uh, But at the same time, you have to stand up for what's right. You can't let people walk all over you. Ooh, There's a point good. where you have to, you know, give in. It's your religious persecution. There's nothing you can do. And then there's a point where you have to stand up in the name of Jesus. That's so good. that's, that's really good. what we're going to do. It's so powerful. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hosen, and their hats. They even had their hats on, right? Wow. And their other garments and were cast in the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Then the king saw this. The king was watching this. The king noticed this. Wow. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace mm -hmm. exceedingly hot, the flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound in the midst of the burning fiery furnace. And then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished. And he rose up in haste and spoke and said to his counselors, did we not cast three men bound in the midst of the fire? Wow. They answered and said to the king, true, true, O king. And he answered and said, lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire. When you're in the midst of that fire, you are freer than ever before because God is with you. God is there for you. God is going to meet your every need. You can't rely on the natural. You can't rely on what you have, what you own. They're, hallelujah, in the midst of a furnace of fire. But God is there and God protected them. God took care of them. God honored their decision to serve him and not serve the king and not serve man. They could have said, oh, we want our jobs. Yeah, we'll bow down, we'll bow down. But I'm here to please God. I'm here to honor God. I'm here to serve That's God, so not man. And people are going to leave you. They're going to turn their backs on you. But the reward that you get mm. is going to be bigger That's and good. greater than what you would have had mm. if you had bowed down to that idol. That's great. But again, <laughs> these people, these soldiers who threw them in thought, oh, you know, we're doing the king's work. We're saving our lives. But they lost their lives because they weren't doing what God wanted them to do. Yeah. And so many people are playing it safe. They're trying to serve man, serve the government, uh, keep their jobs, everything like that. But you have to take risks. You have to sacrifice. You have to stand up for what God tells you to do. And then you're going to have favor down the line. God's going to give you great favor and yes. God is going to bless you. Mm -hmm. And God is going to orchestrate it in such a way that you could not do it yourself self. So praise God. So then Nebuchadnezzar came to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace and spoke and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you servants of the Most High God. Wait, now the king's heart has turned. You servants of the Most High God, come here. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth from the midst of the fire. Oh, come over here, guys, as you're in the flames of the uh, fire. Come uh, on, uh, come on out, guys. Good. You know, just walk on out. Yes. Supernatural miracles. We're going to see these miracles. Well, I love We've it. got to believe. We've got to walk by faith. And the princes, governors, and captains, and the king's counselors being gathered together saw these men upon whose bodies the fire had no power. The fire has no power mm. over you. That's the right. devil has no power over you. That sickness has no power Keep over it. you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Your God is greater. Your God is mightier. And it says, nor was a hair of their head singed. I mean, they had their hats on, 
right? Their hair was not even singed, neither were their coats changed, nor the smell of fire had passed on them. There was no evidence that they had been through the fire, oh that goodness. they had been thrown in the That's fire. Crazy. They were pure and fresh like a spring day, right? So when you go through that fire and you go through it, your hair is not going to be singed. Your clothes are not going to be burned. God's going to give you a new heart, a pure heart. You're going to have a joy. That thing of the past mm. is not going to weigh you down and, and be a weight that's on you good. that's preventing mm. you from going forward in the things of God. He's going to do such a pure mm -hmm. and a perfect healing work. And that's our God. And that's what our God does. And we have to have faith. And we have to believe. That's powerful. Because of time, Apostle, would you mind speaking some of this great teaching over the people that are bound? Amen. That are struggling with Amen. finances. They're struggling with relationships and like you talked about earlier, their health. Can you speak into that and clear some of that up and maybe yes. uh, bless them with a, a healing or whatever you feel the Lord yes. is Yes, you know what, um, let me just, sure, sure, right, please, continue. just really finish because this is really important because the Nebuchadnezzar spoke and said, I mean his heart was totally changed through this whole thing. Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego who has sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him. The king is now saying, blessed be your God. Oh my he delivered you. Mm. You trusted in Him. Now He's preaching. Now He's preaching, right? Because they were willing to stand up for what was right. Because they were willing to pay the price. And and have changed the king's word and yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god. Therefore I make a decree that every people, nation, and language which speak anything amiss against the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego wow. shall be cut in pieces. Now the king's like, you're going to be cut in pieces if you say anything bad about their god, right? Wow. And now he's really righteous, right? Mm -hmm. And their houses shall be made a dunghill because there is no other God that can deliver after this sort. There is no other God but our God who can deliver and set free and heal. That's true. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Oh, wow. They were willing to lay down their jobs, lay down their lives, lay down their finances, That's lay good. down That's everything. Really they were willing to die and then they got promoted because they stood up for what was right and they were obedient to God. So they were promoted in the province of Babylon. So God will promote you after you have stood, yeah. after you have endured and not given in to the enemy, no matter what the price. Hallelujah. So we want to pray. Yeah, go ahead. Please. No, you were going to say something. Well, I was just going to say, I mean, think about this just for a second. Here is this man so upset, so angry, so full of the enemy, just ready to curse these young men that stood up and he was so mad that they defied him. They threw him in the fire and, goes, and then he saw the four, not three, but four. And then he goes, wait a minute. Maybe there's something to this. Then he invites them out. Then he changes his whole thing. He's preaching on that. Can, what a witness. And that's what I want to talk about with the apostle. I don't know if you get a chance to, her meetings are on Monday and it's on Friday. Facebook. And Friday. Oh, Monday night at 7.30 p.m. on Facebook Live. And Friday. My profile page, Gemma Winger. Yeah, it's all right here at the bottom of your screen. I encourage you, this kind of teaching, if you want to get set free on any of these things, there's a lot of deliverance, there's a lot of uh, opportunity to be prayed for and healed. You don't have to be with her live. You can see her or you can comment and she'll uh, email you back. You know what I'm saying? This is how you get a hold of her email. Ask. If you don't ask, you can't receive. You have to humble yourself. And with people with this kind of anointing, this kind of teaching, she's showing you in the Word how you can accept this. So now let's get ready to receive her prayer that she's going to speak all over all of us. Are you guys ready? Go ahead, Apostle. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. You know, just the other day, it was like, ah, doors opened and then they shut. And I thought they were going to open it. Shut, 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 shut. And then I thought of me in the past and I would have been like, call a higher break that yoke in the name of Jesus. And I was kind of responding like, 
okay, Lord, please bring, bring, you know, open that door. Lord, please uh -huh. provide, you know. But God said I needed to be fervent. So we're going to pray fervently there right you now go. to break that yoke, please. to bring his healing power right now. Yes, Hallelujah. God, we are crying out to you. You have given us power and authority authority in the name of Jesus. Yes, you have. And we rebuke every evil spirit in Jesus name. Father God, we pray for deliverance. Those who are battling the enemy, those who are battling in their families, Father God, we break every yoke of bondage in Jesus name. Oh God, thank you, Lord. The Lord is pouring out his spirit and he's healing your heart. He heals the brokenhearted and he binds up their wounds. And right now he's healing you. Just receive, just open your heart to the love of the Lord. Don't harden your heart against him. Just know whatever has happened in your life, he's the healer. And if you've had a lot of problems, a lot of tragedy, you're going to see a lot of victory. You're going to see a big miracle. You're going to see God do something great and something mighty. If you've been in that hot furnace, your God is with you and he's going to deliver you. He's going to set you free. He's going to quicken you according to his word. You're going to hear the voice of the Lord. He's going to even speak to you in dreams and visions. Hallelujah. And even as he spoke to Moses, mouth to mouth or face to face. That's it. That's right. God, we want more of you. Reveal yourself to us, Father God. We want to enter into the Holy of Holies. The Lord is bringing you back to first love, mm. to that place where you're excited, where you're in love with him, where mm -hmm. you have so much joy. He's going to put people in your life. And whereas in the past you hated your life, you're going to love your life. Teacher. You're going to enjoy your life. He's going to bring you joy. He's going to bring you people. Hallelujah. He has been the joy of your life, but he's going to give you the desire of your heart. He's going to give you that mate. He's going to give you that spouse. But he says, wait on me. Wait on me. Be obedient to me. Don't take any shortcuts. Don't try to hurry up the process, but just trust. Trust in him with all of your heart. Lead not to your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths and the Bible says that you're not to be afraid when you hear that bad news because God is going to bless those who put their trust in him and your trust is in the Lord don't worry what the doctor says don't worry what man says don't worry what your boss says God is going to cover it over God is going to make the crooked places straight and the rough ways smooth he's going to make a way where there is no no way he's going to cause rivers to flow in that desert. And right now I see the rivers, the rivers flowing. He's going to create something out of nothing, even as we call those things that be not as though they are in the name of Jesus and the power of God is mm. being stirred up even yes, now. Yes. Hallelujah. His presence is here. His Holy Spirit is here. Listen for his voice. He's speaking to you. He's speaking to you. He's making things clear and he's giving you a boldness to act on it. And sometimes mm -hmm. we have so many choices That's and we it. don't Teach know it. which way to go. That's good. But pray, God will show you the choice you are to take and you are to step boldly out in that choice and be obedient to him. The devil tries to bring confusion, but that spirit of confusion is broken now in Jesus' name. Thank you for your love. Just love on your children. Just be with them, Father God. Help them, Lord. I, I see humility. Mm -hmm. God wants to give his children humility. The Bible says we know in part, we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect is come, that which is in part will be done away with. So nobody has the full revelation. So we can't walk in pride, but we have to walk in humility because there's so much more that God has to show us. He's an infinite God. He's omnipotent. He's omniscient. He's infinite. And so we have infinitely more 
more to learn about him. So, Father God, we just humble ourselves before you. And I just thank you for this show, the Marketplace Network, Dr. Ken, Bishop. I thank you, Lord, for what you are doing in our midst. And the Lord says, he's faithful, he's faithful, he's faithful. You will see the manifestation of the promise. You will see the answer to prayer. Mm. And you will see the miracle. Don't give up. Hold on. Hallelujah. 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 Now, because of that prayer, I want you to sow into this because it takes a lot of time and effort. She studies every day. She's with the Lord all the time. She's really busy with her ministry, her church, the shows she does. She does many programs. She speaks all over. It's time to help her get the word out. If you want to, if you're around the world and you want to see this in New York or South Dakota or Florida or uh, Oregon, whatever it may be, I ask you to sow a seed. Even if it's the widow's mite, you're consistent every month with $10. Or maybe it can be 25 or 50, 100, whatever it is. I ask you to be faithful and diligent with it. Because the Lord loves a cheerful giver that is diligent. So you might not be able to go to these places. You might not have an opportunity to minister. She does have open doors everywhere and all over. And it's time, sometimes it gets overwhelming with the expense. TV's very, very, very expensive to do this. Of course, this platform is very expensive. She sews everywhere and all these costs for TV productions and editing she does. She has a lot of TV shows. She even ministers in Hollywood. It's very expensive. So I'm asking you, so that see, business people, start partnering with the apostle. I, I'm telling you, your business will really take off. If you want to get God's attention, you know, you have to, not out of abundance. Now, come on now. You know, you've got a big corporation, you're sending her a hundred bucks, shame on you. You have to dig deep and have a sacrificial giving. Maybe it'd be a one time of 100,000. Maybe it's a one time of 500,000. Whatever it is, no seeds too big, did you hear me? No seeds too big or too small for her to accept. It's your heart. So if you'll sow this willingly every month to her saying, yes, I agree with the apostle. Yes, I want more teaching. Yes, I'll follow you on Facebook on Mondays and Fridays. Yes, I want more. I want to re receive that book when it comes out. I want you to send some of your songs so I can worship with you as I worship to the Lord. Whatever it may be, partner with her. Sometimes our faith gets down and she's always uplifting and encourages all of us. Thank God I have her phone number. I can call her every week to be encouraged. Amen. So and he too. is an encourager. He's, his words are life. Thank They're you. nourishment. They just nourish your heart, nourish your spirit. And the words that he speaks to me are exactly what I need to hear. And they make me strong in my Amen. spirit. Amen. Thank You're you powerful, so much Dr. Ken. Thank you, Apostle. So her address, everything's on the, the uh, th right there. And she opens her home up to all these different people and the ministers that come in that she has from all over. I mean, this is a powerful ministry. So get on board, jump in, both feet. This is a hundredfold C. I really, I declare a 10,000 fold blessing for everybody that plants today. All of her information is right there. Psalms 144, 13 backs that up. 10,000 fold. Watch what will happen. Until next week. The great apostle Gemma herself. I'm Dr. <laughs> Ken. We'll see you next time on Pathetic Spotlight.